Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to be trying to beat the land speed record. Don't look so surprised my friend. All will be okay. Now the current land speed record was set in 1997 by a fellow Briton Andy Green. In this incredible vehicle which is pretty much the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's called the Thrust SSC. <laughs> <laughs> and it reaches speed of 763 miles an hour. Or in Kerbal speeds, that's 341 meters per second. So that is what we're going to aim for. And look, someone is very pleased about that news. And I'm so excited. You could be a record holder. You could also die a very, very painful death. What? Uh, but of course, the UK Space Agency will be funding this flight. And basically, I'm setting myself some rules. So we've got this runway. And I'm going to say, for the record to stand, we have to start and finish on the runway. So we're going to not only have to think about how fast can we go, but how fast can we slow down. Uh, so we don't want to go into the vehicle assembly building. We want to go into the space plane hangar. Uh, we can ignore this guy because he clearly doesn't know what he's talking about, whereas I do. And of course, we need to name our land speed record vehicle. And rather than the Thrust SSC, which was the original name, I'll be calling mine the Thrust ING. <laughs> so we're going to be thrusting into the record books. I don't like that word. Right, so first things first, we need a cockpit. <laughs> I love that name. Yeah, I'm sort of, I'm trying to think aerodynamically here. I'm also thinking, are there actually stats? Can I read these? Does it say anything about like drag or anything? In which case we'll just go for what looks the most aerodynamic. So we've got that one. We've also got this one. I think that one's more aerodynamic, so we'll delete this. Yeah, so we've actually got the one that weighs the least at the moment. So that's probably a good thing. All right, secondly, we want the nose. So we're going to go into aerodynamics. And we're going to try and find a pointy nose cone. Potentially a tail cone. Whoa, look at this one. It's like one of those relaxing pods. Like they're filled with a little bit of water and you like, you float in it. And you try and hope that you're not stuck in a scary movie where someone locks you in. To be fair, this one could be handy in being a coffin for the Kerbal, because... <laughs> I don't think the flight's going to end well. Yeah, but no, I, I will take that off. We're trying to do this seriously. We're trying to beat some records. we got some nose cones here. So fine, we will go with that one for now then. And then what we'll do, once we've got like a bit of a vehicle down, we'll start swapping different parts and see which is quicker. So the thrusting will be powered by a rocket. Yeah, I think that's the only sort of propulsion you can use in this game really i don't think there are engines or anything yeah, and i sort of i'm sort of thinking a booster is probably the best way it's got fuel built in and as far as i'm aware they are pretty powerful that one is literally tiny that could do though all right so next thing on my shopping list is wheels i feel like again i want to go for something quite aerodynamic so not those bad boys maybe even something like that low landing gear should we see what that looks like? Oh god, they're huge. They are huge. Okay, no, maybe not them. Maybe not them. What about these? It's sort of a standard wheel. They are absolutely tiny. There's some at the front, some at the back. I'm pretty sure you can't steer these. But I don't think turning the wheel at the speeds we're going to be going is even going to be possible. So we'll probably need some sort of tail fin, maybe, to keep us stable. Yeah, but shall we, shall we have a go with that for now? Sort of thinking parachutes to slow down is probably the best idea. But I've sort of come up with a new invention. It's called a wheel chute. And it's basically a wheel that has a parachute built in. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what that's going to do. Right, so good news. We've spawned on the runway and we haven't blown up yet. I'm a bit concerned we've got two passengers. Jeb and his mate Bill has joined in this time. Uh, the extra weight, not ideal, but I guess they couldn't decide who's going to break the record. So let's go. I think we're aiming this number here. Why are we moving? Stop getting a head start. We're aiming for that for 341. So we are off. Oh, look, it's getting there. It's getting there. 200. Runway is coming up. We're going to parachute. Oh, crap. Oh, dear. Look <laughs> at Jeb's face. <laughs> Look at Bill's face. Now they have no faces. Right, so I'm sort of realizing the problem with a booster is I think you can't turn it off until the fuel's run out. So probably no good for this. In which case it means we, st we need to look at the different sort of 
engines. I'm pretty sure these numbers, thrust ASL and thrust VAC. I might be completely wrong here, but I'm pretty sure VAC probably means in a vacuum. And then I'm going to assume ASL is like atmospheric, maybe. Yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to look and try and find the one with the highest thrust ASL. And then we'll see what type of fuel it uses. And then we'll build around that. I'm pretty sure actually this vector one, I've used it in the past for my snake Simon. It's sort of the right size. Uh, it's nearly double the booster I just used. So great. Uh, it uses liquid fuel. So I'm going to go into the fuel tanks. And we'll grab a few of these. I reckon this one, as far as I can tell, that is liquid fuel. It's also got oxidizer in. Actually, I feel like oxidizer, was it, wouldn't that like help burn stuff in an app, like in a vacuum? Like there's no oxygen, but you need oxygen to burn. Am I talking out my ass? Let me know in the comments. So I wonder, is there just liquid fuel and no oxidizer? Here we go, fuselage. That's huge. Here we go, boys, here we go. I think I'm on to something. I think I am on to something. I really don't know how much fuel I'm going to need to get to the end of the runway. We'll try it. Shall we just try three for now? So we'll add that vector engine. Add our wheels to the back. Right, ideally, I do want to put some parachutes around this. I assume drogue chutes are the way. Oh, these actually stick to the fuel tanks as well. I couldn't get it to work around the booster. Oh, but yeah, two, two of those should be fine for now. The wheels look pretty aerodynamic. We don't have any fins or anything, so we're a bit screwed, but um, sod it, it'll be fine. All right, let's launch this bad boy. Oh yeah, oh, there's a button. Hang on, there's buttons for, what was it? Z and X. Oh no. Oh, maybe I do need an oxidizer. Oh, sad astroneer noises. <laughs> right, so on behalf of the UK Space Agency, I apologize for that. Yeah, but we're now ready. I'm just going to check. I think it was Z and X to do the throttle. Yeah, can you see that? Throttle up throttle down uh, so when i want to do the parachutes cut the engines i just press x and hit the chutes right so let's go holy shit that was fast and it's gone at least they felt no pain uh, we're gonna go again i just want to see if the sas button ding that one makes any difference oh yes it does it does oh and if you look, <laughs> if you looked at that, I still had like half my tank of fuel by the time we got to the end. So if we go back to the hangar, I'm thinking that's probably too much fuel. So I know there's this one, which is exactly the same thing, just shorter. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to spread my wheels out a little bit more. The vector engine on the end, copy the wheels to the back drogue shoots on right this could be the most sensible thing i've ever created right sas on throttle up space so once we start getting out of control oh we got to like 320 ish i think we're aiming for 340 now one other thing as well i'd like to actually set a record like i'm quite aware killing these two brave brave pioneers of speed probably isn't the best pr for the uk space agency so let's just set a record so we know we know where we are so sas is on throttle is up so we'll go for a little bit and throttle down space hmm <laughs> all right come on yes yeah yes Not sure we can count that as a success. All right, it's slowing down. It's slowing down. We reach like 100 meters a second. I'm not even sure we're going to stop. This could be a failure. <laughs> oh, wow. I just I just turned the speed up and <laughs> explosions. All right, this time. Yes. Come on. We did a launch. Oh, we nearly got to 200. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Right then, I think the trouble is, I haven't got enough weight. I'm almost too light. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to add a load of fuel tanks. And now I feel like we've got a bit of mass behind us for when our shoots go off. I'm also actually going to 
double the amount of shoots. So we'll turn on symmetry and we'll just copy you down to there. And now hopefully with those at the bottom, we won't backflip as much. I'm also wondering, is there another way of slowing us down? Is there anything in aerodynamics we can use? Air brakes? Oh, well, what are these? They're like propellers. Right, I got two of them on. It's like I got a little wing. Oh, do they stick out? They might stick out. Are they... How do I... How do I trigger them? Deploy angle 70. I probably want to do that up to 100. 70 is going to be like there, isn't it? 90 would be there. So that would slow you down more. And I would imagine 100 would be like there. And surely that would be even worse aerodynamically. So that would slow us down. The only trouble is, no idea how I actually set those off. <laughs> All right, let's launch. This has got to be better. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, SAS on. All right, it's 200. Parachutes out. Air brakes, deploy. Deploy, there you go. I assume there's a button to do that. Oh, we're getting close to the edge of the runway. I think we got to like 200 meters a second. So a fair bit slower. Unfortunately, we're... <laughs> We're really not slowing down. I'm worried if I turn the speed up again, I'll just blow up. Right, is that an actual thing? Or is my game glitching out? Judging from the shadows in the top right, I'm gonna guess it's probably a glitch. Right, I'm gonna have a little go at just aiming for the speed record straight off. So when this gets 341, that's when we're gonna start slowing down. So ready, 200. 300, 41, slow down. Oh, shit. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look, look. B for brakes. Right, got it. Got it. Right, this time. Ready? Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. We've gone in the cockpit. That worked. I didn't press B. I was meant to press B. Oh, we've gone off the wrong way. But we didn't blow up. We're making progress. Right, I'm thinking if I had twice the thrust, then surely I'd go twice as fast. I, re I really, I would love for this to look like what the real thrust looks like, which is sort of something like that. I just need the right intake cones, which is sort of like those. Oh man, this is looking banging. And yeah, if we scale all of this up and then we shove these, I'm sort of thinking maybe, maybe just all over. Like, yes, it's extra weight, but we're going to be going a lot quicker. And maybe a line down the middle as well. I'm not sure how well they'll work, like, in front of each other. Yeah, but that looks like it could set some records. I'm also thinking if we remove that one, because the real one did have this. So it had a tail fin to keep it straight, which is what we've got here. But it also had, like, some wings at the top. And I think that sort of helped with the downforce. Kind of like a spoiler, I guess. Uh, but I don't know how to do that, so we'll just, we'll just go with this for now. Right, that actually looks pretty cool. It looks fast. So SAS on, throttle up. And away once we get to 340. Oh no, we're going nowhere near it. Look at all the parachute. Oh, and speed records are hard. Right, I also forgot to press brake that time as well. So ready, launch. Ready, 300 will do. Break. Oh, look how quick we're slowing down. Oh, we would have gone off the wrong way. But uh, I don't think that was a bad idea, really. Maybe I could sort of remove some of these <laughs> and just like try and get them to create a single sheet. So I don't think the ones at the back are going to be doing anything. Yeah, that could gain us some weight. All right, there you go. I think we've got an optimum amount at the front. That should just create like a big barrier. So we'll go again. Up to 200, up to 340. Come on, come on, break, break. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, there's a light at the end of that runway. Right, I've gone for something a little bit different in terms of the braking situation. Look at these at the back. They are not intakes. They're small boosters. Okay, so SAS on. Let's go. We'll get to like 200-ish. Oh, there we go. We're br oh, no, wait. The rocket, the boosters are still pushing us forwards. <laughs> 
All right, how can I tell these boosters to turn off? I can bring the throttle down, but then my brake ones won't work. Oh, I'll tell you what I could do. I've just worked it out. I've just worked it out. We'll revert flight. I think this will work. So assuming fuel can get through my decoupler, I've just decoupled the engines from the fuel. That seems sensible, right? I've moved the three decouplers up into this one. So this is like my go stage and this is my braking stage. All right, let's launch. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, a little bit worrying as well. These these boosters, they, they produce a lot of flame. A lot of flame. Don't seem to be moving anywhere. <laughs> oh, I think the fact that these engines just fell off as well proves you do need to be connected to the fuel. Oh, although, can't I do like a fuel rod? Isn't that a thing? Here we go, a fuel duct. Let's try this. If we go from there to there, that should work, right? Oh, the middle one worked, but not the others. <laughs> you can see that fuel line is a little bit better. Let's just see when we eject, does it work? So initiating braking. Ooh, ooh, it is slowing us down. Oh, yeah. I say, oh, yeah, I'm not sure those boosters are the right thing. They literally just make smoke and flame. Hey, look at Jebediah. He's, he's like, it's so bright out there. <laughs> yeah, that still took a million miles to slow down. And we're not even moving back. Do these literally do nothing? I feel like maybe boosters are the wrong thing. I know I'm still going to have a lot of fuel left. Perhaps I can use these. So if I were to grab one of these, perhaps shove one there. Rotate it like that. I might make it a little bit smaller as well. All right, I've just connected them with fuel rods as well, just in case. I know they're not called fuel rods, they're like fuel lines. Fuel duct, that's the one, an external fuel duct. Anyway, I've got to check my staging. So you guys go into the braking stage. All right, and let's launch. I'm feeling confident about this one. All right, ready? Let's go. Oh no, that's on the wrong stage. Oh, what was I just saying? Oh dear, oh dear. Right, there we go. Much better. Right, are we slowing? Are we slowing? Nope. Right, now it's fixed. Now it is fixed. Now it's not fixed. Right, at this stage, I'm feeling like the engineering is there. It's just the pilots letting me down. Yes, you too. Come on, guys. We got it. We got it. We can do this. Damn it. <laughs> right, I just want one successful run. Is that so much to ask for? Right, I feel like this is my last chance. Come on then. Right, here we go then. Here we go. 200. We are nowhere near 300 and whatever we need to be. But to be fair, I feel like the actual record wasn't done on a runway. He had loads of room. So let's just set the runway record. Right, so we'll just get to, let's say 150. Oh God, oh no. Oh, we're surviving, we're surviving. Right, air brakes, air brakes. <laughs> this still counts. We're still alive. This still counts. 150 meters per second is the new runway speed record, which is actually pretty quick. 335 miles per hour. Good work, Jeb and Bill. You are record holders. Look, Bill's super happy. Well done. But yeah, anyway, guys, that was that was easier said than done. Let me know if you tried this, what your speed record was on a runway, of course. What methods did you use to slow down? Because I am struggling. Uh, but we will be back bigger and better and hopefully faster. But for now, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love and rocket science. Bye.